Hey folks, so today I thought I might share some thoughts surrounding two expressions that I use quite a lot on this channel, free software and open source software. I'm going to talk a little bit about the differences and why I choose to use uh, the terms that I do when I use them. Now, there is an important distinction to be made between the two terms in regards to their very specific definitions as to how we understand them. So, for example, free software tends to refer to uh, the definition as outlined by RMS and the uh, FSF in regards to the four essential software freedoms, uh, the freedom to run an applica uh, run a program as you wish and to view the source code, the freedom to uh, modify that source code so that it works for you, uh, the freedom to redistribute uh, that program and the freedom to redistribute your uh, improvements to that program so that you might help the wider community. And open source uh, refers to, and it does have a specified definition which you can look up, but it is significantly more... Um, um, there are a few more points to it and there's a little more to it than just the uh, the four points of free software. Uh, now, I'm not necessarily going to be talking about the uh, more philosophical and political differences between the terms, but I have heard people um, make the case that free software refers to the political movement, whereas open source refers to the development model. And that tends to be where my train of thought goes. Now, I exist outside of the internet, much to the surprise of some of you, I expect. But when I talk about software uh, outside of um, outside of the internet, when I talk uh, about it with people I work with, and um, and I tend to work mostly with people who don't really understand computers, not nearly as much as as perhaps uh, you guys watching uh, this video. So it's incredibly important that I am very specific with my terminology. One of the most difficult lessons I feel that I've had to learn in my life up until this point, specifically when it comes to presenting myself on YouTube and, and up on stage and stuff like that, is that when people misunderstand you, it's always your fault, as in it's, you know, it's my fault for, for not portraying the message correctly or simply enough or in, you know, in, in clear enough terms. And uh, that also goes uh, for you, you know that that that, that goes for uh, well whenever I can uh, whenever I, I I try to convey a message and whenever I feel that it applies, but and I suppose the obvious exception here is if someone is deliberately misinterpreting you to be obtuse or to misrepresent you, of course, and uh, that kind of stuff is unavoidable. But uh, the way that I talk to people who, um, who who perhaps aren't familiar with computers or at least aren't as enthusiastic about computers. Uh, I definitely use different terminology, and when I talk about free and open source software, I almost exclusively use the term open source. Now, this does uh, irk a few people from time to time, and, and, and I am aware of that, but I feel that it is incredibly necessary to be clear because when we refer to free software to people who don't understand the political and philosophical terms beneath it, they tend to, you know, go towards the uh, other version or the other definition of free, free gratis, uh, you know, free as in free beer rather than free as in, you know, freedom of speech. And if you're talking about free software and you're only talking about free software using that term, uh, many people might uh, expect things like um, the Google Chrome's browser to be free software, or even things like Google Docs or Hotmail uh, to be free software because you don't have to pay to use it. And um, and that is that is a, a misinterpretation that I, I really cannot abide by. Like if someone, you know, if I'm explaining my passion about free and open source software to a person and then they go uh, and misinterpret that as an enthusiasm for the Google Chrome browser, I've done my job incredibly poorly there. So uh, I do feel that uh, with open source, regardless of it, you know, regardless of the deeper meanings of it as we understand it, there is a straightforwardness to the term. And it does also give a implication of some of the spirits that we're trying to embrace. Openness and source code, which, you know, so there is certainly uh, a, a an opening there for a more clearer understanding of what it is that we're incredibly passionate about. Now, I could, of course, always use the term Libra software uh, instead, but uh, 
to be honest, for people who aren't really um, tech savvy or who don't understand foreign languages particularly well, uh, that uh, word might not necessarily be any more clearer. In fact, it might even be less clearer uh, and require a specific de definition on use. But um, yeah, open source is a term that is straightforward enough that people at least broadly understand what it is that I'm trying to say, what it is that I mean, where I am and a little bit more about what I'm about rather than just saying free software. I mean, if you're passionate about free software and people do misinterpret that, then it sort of signifies that you might be, you know, passionate about like Flash Player or something like that. And 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 again, would not want to be mistaken in that regard. So um, I did uh, want to just sort of put that out there. And I, I, I do, to a degree, use the term open source in these videos as well for the same reason, although um, because of, of what my videos are about, uh, it doesn't tend to be uh, as an immediate um, a necessity. And also when I edit these videos, I can put in things like subtitles and, and I can put in things in the description and comments to, to clarify things as well. But uh, yeah, um, for those of you that were wondering, and there were a couple of uh, people that did sort of ask about why I do use the term open source over free software, um, it does tend to sort of revolve around those issues of just trying to be as clear and, and, and understandable as possible uh, because I do work with a lot of non-techie people with computers, with technology, with open source technology and it is just, uh, you know, really important that you're on the same page with uh, the people that you work with and I just find that term to be... Well, you don't conflate the term open source for something else, which... Um, which I think is, is particularly the most important part. I know that that's uh, perhaps a very simplistic way of approaching it, but when it comes to things like, you know, political or philosophical movements, messaging is important. And I think one of the things that we really quite often drop the ball on in the open source community is the marketing aspect of ourselves. And it's easy to see why if, if we're a community community of, of predominantly software engineers we're not going to have the training or the qualifications or the experience in that department and we're going to be most enthusiastic about the more practical elements of of the industry of the sector so it's sort of understandable there it, it's a it's situ, you know it's a situation that emerges in um, in many other facets of life as well but it's just how i uh, try to approach the situation and um and i thought i might uh, let you, you know fill you guys in on that so uh feel free to let me know how wrong i am down in the comments section below uh but that's about it for me today uh thank you very much for watching and until next time i've been chris Ware and you've been awesome take care now